Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So um, in this uh, video, I'm going to have a look at what's going on with Walken. So Walken is one of the uh, move to earn games. <clears throat> uh, it's a mobile game, as you can see. It's sort of, I mean, let's say it's a game. <laughs> um, uh, it's sort of a very simple sort of game, really. Um, so basically what you do is... Um, you can see here, so they have these gems, which are actually not really very useful, but um, for every every uh, 1,000 steps you do, you get one gem, um, and there's this sort of multiplier, which is based on how many of these uh, catholics you get, which are the uh, in-game sort of NFTs. Um, so the game sort of runs out on the Solana blockchain, and um, when you sort of start off the game, you end up with one of these... Um, collectible um cathletes so um you can buy one of these just from the um marketplace here so we can see here this one here is a level eight uh, breed count zero 1600 of the walk and tokens um so there's a whole bunch of these a marketplace there's a whole bunch of different ones different levels um so you can sort of choose those and maybe we'll find some of them sometimes you can buy stuff in the soul token, but these ones just seem to be on the walking token. You have a little hat. So this one here, yeah, this hat is um, someone selling it for five soul. So soul is about, is it about up to $20 again? So it's about $100. Um, the walking token is not worth very much at all. But anyway, there's these various sort of things you can do, um, various sort of uh, things you can uh, accessorize them with, which sort of uh, gives them more power in the game. Um, uh, so the artifacts as well. Um, Loot boxes, um, I don't think, are they still going? I don't think they're still going. Um, uh, so then these boosters, um, you have to you click these misberries, um, which you can buy for the tokens. So um, that's sort of the, I mean, the game as, as it is, as you can see, um, it says here, my guy's level three at the moment, and he's got his, he, he can have three energies, and he's got two of those three energies at the moment. So just over time, it um, you can sort of get more energy. So the competitions are very simple. Um, at the moment, I can you start off obviously League One. Um, I can do League Two at the moment, uh, and when I level my one up to my Catholic up to level four, I'll be able to go to League Three. And you can see what the um, uh, sort of re the rewards are. So, you know, uh, the higher level your character, the more rewards you get in the Walken token. Um, and uh, so here, so compete here. I just basically you can see my my stats, and then basically I choose different. Yeah, it's very simple. I choose one of three options. Um, so my character has best stamina so i pick stamina uh, it just does this anti-cheat thing sometimes that you have to do to check you're not a bot because obviously people set up bots and start earning this token um so basically it just it randomly finds someone um and then we just sort of compare stats so so the game sort of gamified i suppose rather than a game um am i going to win this one looks like i am so i win that and then i get a bit of the um of the in-game token so so far i've not spent any money um on this i think i've did move a bit of tokens around into the wallet just to see how the wallet worked on Solana. Uh, but basically, I've been sort of doing this sort of thing um, a couple of times a day just to um, sort of grind it out. As I say, it's not really a game. I'm, I'm interested in sort of the user um, experience and I suppose the progression. So as you can see here, um, so I have my energy is down to zero and I have to wait an hour to get some more energy. Um, but I think I can level this guy up now. So um, level three. Um, so he's ready to be leveled up to level four. So there's a certain things you need to... Um, do for him to be leveled, available to be leveled up. Um, not got any equipment or anything like that. Um, so if I level him up, so I need to level him up for fifty. I need to have fifty-two of those walking tokens. So you remember, I was earning like zero point two. Um, so it's basically two hundred and fifty. <laughs> um, sort of uh, two hundred and fifty competitions I have to win. And you don't always win them. Um, if I go back to my wallet here, so uh, yeah, I put a bit of soul in. I put zero point one soul just to check the account works, and then I have. Um, 8.1 Wokken tokens, which I got from winning this wheel. So if you spin this wheel, um, it's different costs. Um, I don't know if I've got enough to do it at the moment. Uh, normally it's the cheaper cost, so you get you get one sort of sort of free one a day, and then this more expensive one, um, and you can sort of win something. I don't know if I have enough um, tokens actually. Yeah, oh, I do. Um, so I can do this. Um, use up those mis mystery tokens. That's what they're used for, really. Um, and I can see if I'm going to win anything. No, there we go. Spin the wheel. I didn't win anything there. Um, but that's what how you end up with this 
I've got a pending balance of 51.06 walk-on tokens. So those are ones I've earned in the game by just winning those simple competitions. And then 8.1 I've got from um, uh, winning the spinning wheel. So I have enough, 54. I don't know how it always has in the same wallet. So I, I don't know if, that, if this is going to pick this up or not. Um, so it's interesting to, to, to see. So let's see if I can level him up. It may say I've not got enough in the right wallet, but it shouldn't do that. Oh, yeah. So you can see here. It's, so basically there's... Um, it's combining my two wallets there so i've got 59 in total um, and some of those are as far as i understand it the in-game ones i'm winning i can't take those out into my into sort of the into a wallet where i can then take them out to an external wallet so those are sort of locked within the game the ones that i'm winning in the spinning wheel i could take them out now there is actually a limit i think it's i can't remember if it's a hundred or i think it's a thousand to actually take them out so they sort of have these obviously people are trying to bot the system and just get this stuff for free um, then you have to have sort of uh, ways in which people can't just sort of um, kind of bot bot the tokens and then sort of remove them all. Obviously, the other thing here with this game is you do have to move, so it's so it's a move based game. So if you were botting stuff, you'd have to um, have lots of phones, I suppose, set up on lots of phones and then walk around with them. Um, so anyway, I can level this up. Um, so there we go. Um, it may take a, a bit of time, um, and obviously when he when it's updates. He'll go to level four and all his sort of characteristics will go up. So it's sort of interesting in the sense that this is you download this through the through the app stores. You can bring sort of money in it. So you, you could bring you could buy the walking tokens, I suppose, on a on an exchange um, or, and then transfer them into your wallet here. I've not done that. Um, you could go to a marketplace and buy one of these NFTs on a either within the in-game marketplace or I suppose on something like uh, Magic Eden um, and then sort of do things that way. Um, but it is sort of interesting in the sense that, uh, you know, just every day you're sort of in, engaging with the game. I wouldn't say it's sort of, a, you know, it's not a game I'm really interested in, not a game I'm sort of skilled in in any way because there isn't really any skill. Uh, but it is a sort of an interesting retention model that you can just basically, I imagine it may take me a year uh, to level this up to sort of um, level 10. And when you get to level 10, you can, at that point, sort of mint out your Catholic, um as, a, as as an NFT and then maybe maybe someone will buy it or not. I, I don't really know. But clearly, this has lots of the sort of mechanics that you would have in a in a sort of um, free to play blockchain game in the sense that you want lots of sort of limitations, lots of restrictions, so people can't just bot the thing out. But equally, there is a sort of a if very long progression mechanic. You can keep playing, you can keep grinding, you can keep leveling up. Pro probably, you know, I think very few people would actually do this all the way through to level ten and minting. Uh, but for people who are interested, you can obviously then if you are uh, that way inclined or you understand enough about crypto you could sort of like circumvent it by going well I'll, I'll buy a hat or i'll just in this case just sort of buy buy one of those nfts um, on, on the on the store um uh, so i wouldn't say this is a sort of super successful uh sort of project but i do think it is sort of interesting it has lots of the mechanics that we would expect to see in a web3 um game um and there is actually um uh maybe i can show that as well there is actually like a they have bought out like a companion game which isn't blockchain um, but again that sort of creates another sort of um entry level so let's see if i can just quickly go and play that other game so this is walk and runner again a mobile app down available through the app stores let's just turn that music down so there was a season going on over christmas where you could earn stuff um, but uh, this is not connected in any way to the wallet. Oh, it's the same. It's the same. It is the same one, I think. I can't remember if it's the same one. So anyway, you're sort of collecting, you know, it's this, this sort of sort of simple um, casual games where you're sort of just collecting these tokens. They're not real tokens. Um, I can't even remember. Like, ooh. Right, well, I think you get to the end and you have to fight a boss. Um, so again, this is sort of, you know, super simple. I don't know. Again, this is, you know, it clearly is a game, but, but sort of more sort of gamified experience. Um, than than sort of doing anything super hardcore. Then I get to the you know, I bash, have to bash through this wall. Uh, if I've got enough to bash through the wall, I didn't get enough to bash through the wall. And then if I did have enough, I could um, I could fight that boss. Um, but so you can sort of see how they how they're layering sort of stuff on. Um, and I think yeah, so I'm, I could level up my it looks like I can level up my health. Yeah. Um, so so collecting these sort of does have an impact in the sense that I'm sort of um, collecting them. You can see in the top right hand corner. Um, so it's sort of a way of sort of creating, I guess, um, not a horrible term, but a sort of a slightly term, term you probably have used, like an ecosystem where there's different sort of um, simple simple games you can play, and then there's some sort of um, sort of more wallet 
um, sort of NFT based sort of wallet system where you're sort of you are doing something in there as well. So this can I bash through this wall? Let's have a look now. Oh, so this is um, yeah strong enough now. And now I'm not I'm not doing anything. This is just like a oh, I'm going to lose. Um, so uh, there we go. So I need to upgrade my character, and I, obviously they're sort of getting me to. Um, uh, watch a video and they, they're obviously going to claim money through that video and I got the video anyway didn't want to see it so you can sort of start to see how, how Wacken is sort of building up this um, this sort of ecosystem where it has sort of different sort of simpler apps you can plug into and I guess the question is whether whether you can actually upscale people to, who start playing on the Wacken game and then does that make them want to play they actually get the sort of the the app the move to earn app and then does that speed up in any way the fact that they're going to um, sort of start, start spending money in, in, in that app using sort of crypto? Because that's quite a high bar. Um, so I wouldn't say it solves any problems. I wouldn't say it's a massive success or anything like that at the moment. But I think it is interesting um, to sort of play some of these uh, or interact with these apps and see um, what they're trying to do um, and, and try and learn from that. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. See you again soon.